Hey y'all, welcome to Word of Hannah. Welcome back if you're returning. So I just want to do a... <laughs> I was about to say a quick reading, but I said the last time I was going to stop saying that because I didn't know if it's going to be quick. <laughs> Excuse me or not. But um, what I've been getting is that um, somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck in a karmic cycle. Somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck like in a... Um, <sighs> In a, um, the same uh, cards keep showing, conniving ass bitch and a uh, karmic ass bitch. Um, the, somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck in a karmic cycle along with them. There's some people who are like stuck in a certain way of life that they don't know how to get out of. And they have like some sort of sense of awareness, either because some of them have been doing divination. They just know, or they can tell by the way you carry it or what it is that you're accomplishing. I think it might be what it is that you're accomplishing. And I specifically think that it has something to do with that stalking shit that I've been picking up on because somebody has been stalking for sure. To try and see if the things that it is that they've been doing is working. And as they see that it's not, they're getting pissed off and they're trying other things. And one of the things that they're trying to do is essentially some mind manipulation to essentially make you um, feel like what it is that they're doing is working. To try and like get you, um, get you off guard, to get you to like essentially begin to think about what it is that they're doing and to put like your energy signature on the things that it is that they're they're doing to try and get it to like get you to manifest some shit that you don't want um i see lauren hill um i don't know if somebody likes lauren hill if somebody's a gemini um somebody may have locks somebody may just be like the earthy type i mean uh oh artisan ass person um um what came out is sneaky ass bitch player pimp sagittarius pisces moon new new Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, disrespectful ass bitch. I hear that's what somebody might be saying about you. Stripper bitch. That, yeah, okay, it's confirmation. That is, um, so what I have been getting, stripper bitch, um, is that somebody who is a stripper or used to be a stripper is like playing a role and is working in an office right now um, or still is a stripper, something like that, something that has to do with strippers um, and the gang stalkings. Like somebody knows a lot of people and is essentially you in the way that they know a lot of people is because they're a stripper and they're basically using that um, social collateral that they have to um antagonize somebody that they're um her life partner and i also heard destined path uh, the judgment card is coming out first um they're using their social collateral to try and fuck with the person that they're baby daddy and, i heard baby daddy and shit um that their child's father um, is supposed to be with this is somebody who does spell work and so she knows who her partner is who her um, child's father is supposed to be with and he knows too and it's the empress yeah yes come through yeah okay and this motherfucker is um yeah this motherfucker is a disrespectful sneaky ass bitch but this is somebody who's saying that that the the empress is a disrespectful bitch like somebody this person is like going hard. Okay, so this person is going hard to try and mischaracterize this person. Um, and to, we have the six of uh, swords. And then we have the seven of pentacles. This is somebody who is trying desperately to um, slander this person to try and knock them off their game. Like this is something, this is all this person knows how to do. Um, like all this person knows how to do is fucking lie and in yeah um she wants she wants she's trying to fuck with this person's um this empress's um I, heard, I keep hearing divine path 
But the judgment card is out here and the judgment is not being called on the empress. The judgment is being called for the empress. Yeah, this, this motherfucker was trying to create some sort of illusion, was trying to cause endings and may have even done some shit to try and make people like trying to stop like i'm telling you she's trying to stop this motherfucker the chariot card trying to stop this person from coming in and it's trying to like run interference and this person knows that she's not meant to be with her child's father but she she like did sneaky shit to get him and she's trying to do sneaky shit to keep him and it's because he's the king of cups and it's not because of anything that like she doesn't love him like she don't care about him she just wants a certain lifestyle and she doesn't want she don't want nobody else to have him i heard take both of those um, we have the three of wands, the queen of wands. The emperor card come out. I don't know something. Um, but this is somebody who like, all she knows is doing shady and conniving things. And that's one of the reasons, like, because that's at her core. That's one of the reasons. Yeah. She has a, um, king of pentacles. One is flying out. Um, but that's not what came out first. I heard put it on the left side of the Empress. The devil card. And Sagittarius. Right on top of Sagittarius right there. Queen of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Like, yeah, the Emperor. What the fuck did I just say? I said, if the Emperor comes out, I'm going to know something. This motherfucker does not want anyone. I heard right on top of the chariot. It's literally the same person okay he just walking his cats okay he a big cat she does not want him to move on but and so she's trying to have all kind of uh devilish shit happen right now so that she can try and run interference on something that's destined to happen like it's above her um and she thinks that she's about to do something to try and bind this person to her. And at the same time, she's trying to sabotage this empress. But this empress is protected. I heard. I keep hearing the south winds. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's south winds or the south winds as in air. We do have Gemini and Aquarius out here um, on the table here. The devil sign. That's the Capricorn iron. Um, she might have somebody um, who was a Capricorn uh, doing some some um, some wicked shit, or she's just working with the devil. I mean, the devil card doesn't necessarily mean Capricorn, and that's all it can mean. Um, chariot card means Cancer as uh, the Cancer sign, but it doesn't mean that it only applies to the Cancer and so forth and so on. The Emperor card is typically Aries. Um, Hmm. Yeah, this person is doing like a lot of different spells, doing beauty spells, doing some sort of rituals. And I heard something about harvesting. And then this chick, um, yeah, she's the kind of woman who will trap a dude um, because she wants what she wants. And she doesn't care about what's in her best interest, what's in his best interest or what's in the in best interest of the child that she'll be creating on purpose with somebody that she knows she's not destined to be with because if she was what destined to be with him, she would just attract him. And wouldn't have to do any kind of witchcraft to do it. But anyway, she might be working in the office right now. Or she, she might be somebody's boss or she knows somebody's boss. Um, she might have a daughter that's between the ages of about four and six. And she's she's using like all her connections to just try and throw everything off balance. Queen of Swords. We have three queens out here. Three queens, two kings so far. I heard they're all here for the Empress. Um, the other the other queen is bound to come out. Um, we have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. All we need now is the Queen of Pentacles. And I just saw her. Um, yeah, she, she doesn't want this person to move on and to be happy. But I keep hearing that it's inevitable. Yeah, I keep seeing all these cards of celebration that want to come out. But this person wants to be the only person that gets celebrated. But she's not willing to do anything to make that happen. 
She just wants to be the star because she feels entitled. She's not, she doesn't want to be the star because she's like, because she's doing anything to even make that happen for herself. She just wants to be the star because of what, what it is. I heard the spoils because she wants to have, but she doesn't want to earn anything. I heard these are the last three cards that I need to pick up. I heard the Capricorn is the Knight of Swords. He's penny pinching. And overburdened because of the things that it is that he's doing. Like he's he's trying to lay his burdens down. I'm not um yeah, it's something something that has to do with like some sort of set up energy, something that has to do with like, of course, slander, gang stalking with the social collateral that this um, young woman is trying to do or is doing. But it's just not working. We have the king of wands. Every I heard put the cards together. So we have the king of wands, queen of wands, king of cups, queen of cups. Emperor, Empress. Judgment's already been called on this entire situation. Like, it's already, it's done, sweetheart. Like, it's fucking, it's done. Five of Swords came out. So we have the Six of Swords. Temperance card. I heard he's going to come fill her cup up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, somebody's like, oh, let me sit up here and watch this entire shit. Um, I heard attribute this to the death card if it comes out. Um, something about victory over opposition yeah somebody's just like somebody this chick though she did like some sort of witchcraft to like fuck with with this empress's auric field to make people like be indifferent to him to her to make people like want to cut her off and be mean to her and do all kind of shit or she put people up to it this is going to be this person who either does like witchcraft on people or does witchcraft on people's auric fields to um to make them be received a certain kind of way like in an energy like essentially she places an energy around this person but that energy is fleeing that energy doesn't stay around because that energy doesn't want any fucking problems with whoever this person is the sun card this is all being revealed like this person i heard she's tearing her hair out at the roots like she's playing a good she's playing a good role she's she's doing a lot and like she's really she's she's doing a lot to try and like take everything this empress has and is definitely doing witchcraft on her finances and also doing witchcraft on her root chakra like wanting her to be stuck in poverty but that's not this person's destiny um It's so crazy because this person is doing all these things to make someone, it's the seven of uh, pentacles again, to make someone um, suffer because they have a, a divine counterpart that this person just wants, I heard rags to riches, this person just wants what this person has. She doesn't, she doesn't um, care about him. Eight of Wands. And as soon as she feels like they're starting to come together, things are working in this person's favor. Here she comes with all these games. Here she comes 
just trying to cause um, more issues, trying to derail things. And this could also be other individuals as well. People who are part of the gang stalking who have like, who are, I heard they're disillusioned. Like they, they have told themselves that this person is disrespectful and therefore deserves what it is that they're doing. But in all actuality, this person really probably more than likely has never had an opportunity to actually be themselves in front of people because they're always like jumping to these crazy conclusions. Like this is going to be somebody um, who gets slandered out the gate. Like the these people are not in their right mind is what I heard. Like they they do so much talking. These two are coming together regardless. Like, it's fucking inevitable. Um, this empress... I heard has scores to settle with this emperor. I heard she might want to kick his ass. Um, mm, mm, do they know each other? Ancestors? Give me one more card, please. All right. So, Queen of Swords again. In the tower. I heard she's falling on her head trying to think of an evil scheme and it's all backfiring. She's falling on her head. It's just not working. She keeps trying to drain your energy and it's just not working anymore. The judgment card wanted to come out again. Like I said, I mean, he may very well be involved. The emperor. Or he may have been involved. Yeah, this judgment has something to do with somebody coming to somebody's aid or somebody receiving a gift. This looks like the medic card. The judgment is this person falling on their head. That's the medic. I heard someone's coming to take her ass away and lock her up. And we'll see if that justice card come out. I'm going to know something. Whatever, the, whatever they're planning to do, it's not... It's not going to work because it's not meant to work. I'm telling you, sunny days are ahead. Six of, six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles. That means, that means it's like right there. That means like right on top of the King of Pentacles. The Lover's card is here at the top. Yeah. She wanted somebody to be so heartbroken over the shit that she was doing because in the past she used to be able to like just cause heartache on people and she would just drink up that energy. Like this person is so fucking dark. Like this is that kind of person. Like she is the kind of person that she keeps claiming that this empress is. Like, she's the kind of person that sits back and just evilly and just with all kinds of entitlement just does the wickedest shit and just has, like, no empathy about it whatsoever. But she's dealing with somebody who does have a lot of a lot of empathy. She's She has a child, the lover's card. I told you this shit wanted to come out. She's dealing with somebody who does have a lot of empathy. And, and look, like I said in the last fucking reading, this person, the snake is going in the opposite direction away from these two while they're mending this heart. I heard that snake is going to get eaten by them two birds up here too. Yeah, these two love, like they're going, they're going to mend each other's wounds is what I heard. She wanted them to be like this. One flying away from the other. 
due to broken hearts. But they're like, nah, nah, we'll figure this shit out. And there's somebody, might be this, um, either the Aries that, um, that came out. This hangman wanted to come out. Either that Aries that came out or the um, Aquarius. It's the um, Ten of Wands again. And I, I'm talking about them or this, uh, this uh, the devil card here. Um, they got the Ten of Wands the first time. He, I heard he ain't no real Shane Goma. Um, he thought he was finna do something to this Empress and he's just finding the fuck out. Here go the star card again. This is the second time the star card came out. Eight of Pentacles. Like this motherfucker. This motherfucker thought they was going to have somebody fucking pinch, penny pinching. And they thought it was just going to all keep going. Just smooth is what I heard. That it was just going to keep going the same way that it's been going. And that they was just going to keep just an endless cycle of bullshit going. Now we got the fucking strength card out. So this could be involving a Leo. This Leo could be the player pimp or this is um this is um someone who has I heard a Leo uh Leo rising. The only thing this person was going to have the strength to like persevere like I think this person was was not only was telling people that this person was who they really are, but they weren't taking the time to find out how this person really is. And they thought they were going to have this person all in their head worried about all the stalking and the watching and the slandering and the gossiping and the plotting and the planning and all this other shit. Also, or that somebody might be trying to like hack somebody's phone or have somebody's phone hacked and might be trying to like steal their tax returns like somebody's trying to like hurry up and steal somebody's money trying to steal somebody's wealth trying to steal somebody's job trying to get somebody fired or some shit like that it might be using um king of cups again queen of cups right behind that shit they finna go underground with it these two are coming together and they just gonna shut the city down is what i heard i don't even know what that means shut the city down but She just wanted to take everything from this person and thought that this person was leaning on somebody. And as this person kept lying, each lie kept getting dispelled. And this person's just been getting more and more and more pissed. And so she's like up in the ante. But this. And so that's this. That's the stalking and, and things like that. We have the Zodiac card. And the, I don't know, the shit, the, the bow, I, Dios mio. Um, she thought that she was just going to be like, okay, well, I'm just going to take everything. I'm just going to, you know, she wanted to take everything from this emperor. She wanted to take everything from this empress. And she wanted to basically just leave them desolate and without anything because she knows that that's what she's headed towards and that's what she deserves. So she's trying to essentially get other people to take on her karma as a result of the evil things that it is that she's done. But th that this outcome is what she deserves. And she's going to have to sit and watch. I heard if she comes to or if she gets in her right mind. I don't know if this person like... I kept getting the energy of somebody being involved in a car accident. I don't know if somebody is. I hope that... Never mind. So, it's out of nines out here too. A lot of just eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Um, I heard it's a done data for you hoes. Um, yeah, somebody was just like trying to get somebody to be involved in a car accident. But they're going to be the ones involved in a car accident. Somebody was just trying to bring a tower moment to the star. But there's somebody who was like... Under no circumstances, like for all the people who are involved in trying to bring these towers, let's, let's take a closer look, shall we? Trying to bring the tower to this young lady. Have this person overburdened, have this person overworking, um, focusing on trying to, we're, we're trying to build their pinnacles up, just trying to have this person like just overburdened and just working, 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 working. And 
all the while saying this person is a this, this person is old disrespectful ass bitch. This person is a this kind of bitch, a sneaky and just, just all kinds of slander. And the whole time, some of these people know that the stripper bitch is really all of those things. But there's some sort of illusion that they have this person, these people, under, she has these people under some sort of an illusion that makes them like our demon soldiers. She It makes them like go and work on her behalf, even though they know she's a hurtful gazy. But there's something about this guy, though. That's the thought that I need to complete. This motherfucker who's in this devil energy or maybe I heard a Capricorn rising um, and it could be somebody who just has Capricorn in their chart, or they could just be working with dark energies. And so the devil card came out underneath these cards. This is the person who's overburdened, who needs to put some of their burdens down. They're heavy hearted They're They need to lay their burdens down. They need to set this shit down because they went in in because they're, they're headed straight towards poverty. Like the pinnacles are just getting dropped right, right into um, somebody else's cup. This person needs balance, but this person may be overburdened because they worked against somebody without knowing why and without knowing the truth. Because this person was sitting up here and saying this person, the old disrespectful ass person, disrespectful ass bitch and all this other stuff. And so she has these people like working against the illusion that she created. And so then when it comes to the star energy, when it comes to this person, there are people who are like, no, I don't care how many of you are saying these things. We're not going to work against this person. Um... We don't give a fuck what you have to say. And somebody's just like, yeah, no. Um, I also heard something about a contract, like something that has to do with the contract ends with this person. Something, I don't know if there's a contract that's ending, a marriage contract, um, a business contract or something like that. A real estate contract is what I also heard, but something that has to do with like a contract ending with this person or this person taking a contract with them. This empress. Yeah, the Zodiac card. Is saying that this young lady is not reflective enough and she can't have this fortune because she's lazy. Fortune does not smile upon the lazy. Yeah. And this card talks about, this is the navigator. This talks about leaving burdens behind, leave the past behind, leave the pain where it is and just move on because holding on to the past is useless baggage. All right, get one more card and see if that room card don't come out. This, um... The kitty cat card came out sideways. I heard this girl's headed straight towards disaster. I heard this king of cups energy is not playing with her ass. So this is the card that came out on the side. This is the cat. This is, is, um, is a card that predicts betrayal or it encourages you to like trust your... Um, Trust that was undeservingly placed on someone um, or a situation that you believe to be um, safe. And it also is an indicator of unfaithfulness with love. And that's one of the other things that I heard um, is that this young woman who um, has this daughter, supposedly by the King of Pentacles, that it may be her, his father, brother or brother-in-law, who's really the father of this child. Um, it's not, 
it could be him, but I heard that it wasn't, that it could be um, that she may have had this child with somebody else that, and because it's somebody that he, you know, looks like because he's related to them, this person, he, I heard he'll never know. He'll never know. She, this is, this may be the granddaughter of someone who I um, saw in a dream back in July, I think it was, of last year. Where I had to kick the bitches out of the hotel. Um, it was this girl's... Um, the, the girl who was sitting entitled like... Oh, I know he's going to marry me. Like between her illusions and her beauty and her body. She was just like, oh, I don't need to do anything else but show up. You know, the kind of woman that a lot of men find themselves really attracted to. And it's just like that devil in a blue dress. is like that just that temptress that it's like you'll you'll regret this like don't don't get don't get caught up in this pretty face this motherfucker does not want to work she does not want to do anything she does not want to she will drag you down you're gonna like think with the right head is what i heard but she sits and she's all entitled and she's like oh i know he's gonna marry me this is this girl and I saw her mother. This is she has like jet black um, hair that she wears straight a lot. And her mother does too. But her mother and her grandmother may have thinning around the edges or may have like the little dip that, you know, people get when they um, at their temples as they get older. Um, yes, ma'am. Here he come. Um it's a done daughter. Like she, she. I heard old gun is stopping her ass dead in her tracks. And that somebody also went to Papa Legba. Like somebody keeps reaching out. Yes. The anchor card fell right on top of this shit. Like whatever she did. To betray this person, like it fell just like this, is going to have her stuck. She wanted, she wanted the, she wanted to create some sort of a betrayal for this, um, this Gemini. The lover's card, the Gemini card came out here. Lauren Hill came out. She's a Gemini. She wanted to create some sort of an illusion and, and wanted to have somebody stuck. She didn't want to stuck. This person refuses to be like, no, she refuses to be stuck. And then the stripper bitch refuses to take responsibility for the things that she's done. She just keeps thinking that as long as she pretends like she lacks no remorse, that that means that she's absolved of any and all. Um, Lady Luck wanted to come out absolved of any and all responsibility. And it's like, okay, yeah, karma don't give a fuck about your delusions, though, ma'am. Um, but... The, um, the grand, the mother and the grandmother, they wear their hair up in a loose bun and they, they were walking up and down a hallway in a hotel that had like red, deep red, not burgundy or maroon, it was deep, deep red carpets. And they were just speaking spells and they were, I heard say it, they were pushing a cleaning cart. And they were acting like they may have been acting like they were the housekeeping or maybe they were housekeeping. Um, but they look like. Yeah, they had like jet black. Hair. And. Um, I'll keep hearing happy wife, happy life, but. That's what's coming to this empress. Um, they were speaking spells over and over and over again. And then they just had to. Um, the empress finally came out. Like the empress got tired of it because she was sitting in the room with her child. And she was just like she knew what was happening and she could hear it. And then finally and she's knowing like, OK, this shit is not going to work. And then finally she was just like, you know, what? let me just deal with this. And she just opens the door and tells both of them to get the fuck out. And they had to leave because she said so. 
And it doesn't feel like these motherfuckers know that this Empress I heard has got it like that. I heard she has something to do and it's bigger than what it is that these people are trying to perceive over her or deceive of her. But um, the other thing that I heard is though, is that people went to the crossroads asking Papa Legba to do something for them, but Papa Legba favors. I heard the weak, the innocent, you can say it. Um... I heard favors the kind hearted. And one of the things that I got earlier was that he's kind hearted. He's a sweetheart. Um, but they keep summoning um, the spirits. I heard that will never betray you. Like they keep going and at like... It's like they're going to somebody and asking this person to help them set you up. But the person they're asking to help set you up is somebody who absolutely adores you and would never lay a hand on you. Like would never, would never do anything against you. One more card, please. I heard you need to go back to the crow deck after this. Or it also might be time for a new deck. Um, this card wanted to come out earlier too. The fishies with the anchor card. What's up with it? And the boat. Like, what's 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 going on? Is this a Pisces? Pisces moon came out. Eddie K. L O L O M G. Um, the fish. Once you let God supply these tales, you can never again be lied. Silence will bring counsel and will not expose you to the attacks of others. Stop often and think. Stand still and reflect quietly. It will lead to the discover of the right path to be taken. What I say about the fucking slander? What I say about these motherfuckers still going on about their business in spite of what it is that this chick is trying to do? Like she thought she was. Um... I heard ask for one more card, please. Will of Fortune. I heard it's target practice time. And what did I say? That this Empress is protected. South winds. But what I was getting is that she's protected on all sides. We got the same lion. We got that snake. We got the scorpion. We got what looks like maybe a bull. That could be a Taurus. Oh, shit. I heard that. And we have the... Symbol of fertility here of, of the ladies. I saw this same symbol on one of these diagram cards. Or show me why the temperance card came out. I mean, we got the tower. Strength, judgment, the lovers, the hermit, the wheel of fortune, the star. I heard it's a complete spread now, if you ask me. There's a lot of people who are just 
living for this entire situation playing out in the favor of this empress and there may not be enough people a lot of people on the earth or where these folks are right now that are um on the side of this empress but in the spirit in the spiritual world and i heard the spiritual community everyone is literally like I heard gassed for this emperor. She has a halo. Temperance. The energy of this crow is patient and balanced. She has the power to project grace and calm on the outside while actively solving problems and figuring out solutions to complicated issues inside. When the temperance card appears, it is a sign to take a long-term view when embarking on a journey. Journey. When embarking on a journey, what did I just say? Or seeking a solution. Just as the crow blends two opposite liquids to try to blend and harmonize with the people around you. Try to blend and harmonize with the people around you when working with others. Ask for their input and inc incorporate their ideas. Perhaps something totally new will, co will come of it. Honey bone was blocking. She did not want anything to come to fruition for this young lady, for this empress. I keep hearing something that I don't want to say. Can I have one more card, please? To close this reading out. One more card, please. Empress card wants to come out again. The fool. I heard when it comes to matters of the heart, he was stupid in the past. Something about this situation that has to do with... Um, I heard embezzlement, betrayal... Something about this situation that has to do with men picking women based off of their loins. I already had a decision to make and he made it. This is for the king of wands. He, um, the emperor, again. So, um, I, I heard that this has something to do with men choosing women based off of their loins and then like, I heard living to regret it, which I can understand that completely. I understand choosing the wrong person to, um, create children with, and then just being like, oh my gosh, what the fuck did I do? Because, you know, a lot of times people go to great lengths and we are caught off guard by it because it's like, oh, we never would do no shit like that. So we it takes life to teach us just how far people will do to try and get what it is that they want. And so they'll sit up here and they'll do all this setup shit to try and get us or to try and trap somebody or to try and get things to go the way that they want things to go. And we don't think that way, so we don't think that people would do anything like that because that's not the way our mind works. That's not, you know, this, that's not how we're showing up. And um, I just want to say that, you know, whoever it is that you decided to have a kid with, whoever this is, who you have this child with, who's behind all this, how, like, yes, there is some personal responsibility that has to be taken for the fact that, your intuition more than likely told you, darling, that this person was not your person. But because of wherever you were spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or just the physical attraction, you just ignored your um, intuition. And that's that happens. It's okay. I mean, no matter what is happening, no matter, you know, even if you've had children, I just saw 4444 four, four, four on my on my clock. 
if you guys have children it's like okay you know it'll be okay because it's not like you chose this person based off of what you saw this person put up all kind of illusions and i heard used a gilmore I heard take here comes the star card again now i'm just trying to put them away put them burdens down king of pentacles same cards coming out same cards coming out and i already um got the shuffle in them but um and i'm just trying to mix these things up real quick um she got to say to me girl um but i i heard somebody finna be broke as fuck i heard it ain't finna be you empress um Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I heard toil and labor, and that's not even something I say. And then the damn train on none of these cards. I heard he wants to eat your ass up. Um, Sun card. Oh, how ugly is he, though? Um, so, anyway. What I heard is that it's it's okay that this it's terrible that this person deceived you, but it's not your fault that you were deceived because it's not like you chose this person based off of who you saw them, you know, to be you you were deceived, you were lied to, you were manipulated. And you might need to forgive yourself for that because like, yeah, you know, it's been a shitty situation because you didn't listen to your intuition. But as as whatever this person is doing that is reflecting badly on you, um, that's this person's karma. That's their character. That's their upbringing. That's their um, lineage. That's their life. Karmic ass bitch, Virgo. I'm getting the top gun shit again. That's them. You're responsible for what it is that for what it is that's manifested itself in your life as a result of decisions that you've made, not decisions that somebody else made or you were involved because you can't control what somebody else is doing because it's giving that you've asked this person to, to stop something that it is that they've been doing and they just don't give a fuck because they lack empathy and they're like, you know, so what? I don't care. Like this person, like legitimately has to get sat the fuck down because of the malicious things that it is that they're doing under the precipice that again that as long as they don't give a fuck and as long as they have like this selfish self selfish self-righteous attitude that it's just always supposed to be okay and that oh well who gives a fuck some sort of illusion is going to be broken off of the people that this person was using I heard to antagonize somebody. Grandma's baby keep coming out. Capricorn is coming out again. Aries is coming out again. Aries came out again, again. Leo, again, again, again. And Nunu. Mm hmm.